Hi, my name is Neff and I help vacation rental owners get more direct bookings on their website. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create your account with Google Tag Manager. There's lots to love about Google Tag Manager, but the main reason why I like it so much is because you install it once on your website and then you won't have to depend on making changes directly in your website to do things like add tracking codes, send events from Google Analytics, and a bunch of other stuff that I'll show you in future videos. To get started, you'll need a Google account. So if you have a Gmail account already, you're good to go. If not, go to tagmanager.google.com to get started. Once you log in, you'll see a screen like this to create a new account. I'll be using my website called cabinpromos.com to set up this process. All right, let's get started. Let's create a new account here. I'll enter the name of my website. Website name will be cabinpromos.com. This is gonna be a web platform. In another video, I'll show you how to set it up for AMP. Once we build out landing pages, let's hit create, read the terms of service, and if you're okay with it, click on yes. You'll be prompted with this install Google Tag Manager code, but keep in mind you can install it in a couple of different ways. The easiest way is to use an add-on or a plugin, and this will depend on however your website is built. For example, if your website is built on WordPress, you'll use plugins, and you won't really have to go through this process. Or if you don't have add-ons or plugins, then you'll have to manually install this code. Don't worry, I'll show you both ways to do it. So first, I'll show you how to do it the manual way. So let's follow these instructions. We're going to copy the code below and paste it into every page of our website. So let's copy this, and then we'll paste it into the head element of the page. So as high up in this head element as possible. So here we are in the back end of cabinpromos.com. Again, you might be using something like Wix, WordPress, Drupal, Squarespace, or something, but the concepts are still the same. To manually insert that code, we'll want to access the head element of your website. It'll be something like inject custom code. So here's the head section, and we'll paste that code in this section here. And you'll want to make sure that this code is fired on all pages. And here we have a prompt to show us that it's going to be injected to all pages. Now let's go back and get the rest of the code. So the next step says, additionally, paste this code immediately after the opening body tag. So let's copy this. And down here, we can see the start of the body and the end of the body. So we wanna post this immediately after the opening body tag, which is right here. Let's click on save and we're good to go. Okay, the easier way to install this is to use a plugin or an add-on because typically you're just required to enter the ID of your Google Tag Manager account. So let's go back to Google Tag Manager and you can find the ID in a couple of different places. So you can see it here in the code or over here in your workspace. Let's copy that. I'll go to add-ons. Looks like I already used Google Tag Manager. <laughs> and here's where you will install it. Again, your situation is gonna be a bit different than mine. So you'll want to look for an add-on or a plugin where you can integrate your Google Tag Manager account. So I'll select this one here, enable this add-on and then paste in my GTM container ID. Click on save, save your changes, and we're all set. And the last thing we'll cover here is how to add team members into your account. Head over to admin, user management, and then add new users here. You'll enter their email address and then the type of account permissions that you wanna give them. You can see all permission types right here. Send over your invite and you're good to go. In the next video, I'll show you how to create a Google Analytics account and then walk you through the process of installing that tracking code with Google Tag Manager. 